Well, guys, on this journey to find Uncle Tom, the information about Uncle Tom, I actually found a cousin, a long distant cousin by the name of Jesse Clarkson. And I'd like to give Jesse a shout out. Uh, I learned a lot of information from Find the Grave through her. So thank you, Jesse, for putting all that stuff on Find the Grave. And it made it a whole lot easier to find some of Uncle Tom's descendants. Okay, you guys, we're going to go to the scene where Uncle Tom was killed. I'm going to take you there and show you right where it happened. In 1905, July the 3rd, he was going to see a sick neighbor. And he always, they usually walked the railroad because the railroad was on grade. Back then, the roads were nothing but uh, just mud holes or just big dust buckets because, you know, they weren't paved or anything like that. So... They would have been just big, just uh, old dirty wagon roads, and you know if you had your nice clothes on, for instance, and and your best, you know, shoes and stuff, you'd get them all dirty and stuff on those roads. So they walked the railroads. My grandfather and grandmother, grandmother walked the railroads as well. So we're going to go down here to Ingleside, West Virginia, which is not too far from here right now, and. Uh, we're going to check out the scene where Uncle Tom was ran over by the train on July the 3rd, 1905. Okay, you guys, we're coming up on what is called down here Hoot Owl Holler. We just passed Hoot Owl Holler Road. Uncle Tom's home is right along here where you see this little homestead right here. Uncle Tom lived right about there on that flat over there that's what my mom and dad used to tell me now he owned property all the way down through here about three sections of property and we're going to come up on the place where he's buried right here just in a couple of seconds at the reed graveyard so we're passing when we pass this little trailer right here you'll see these trees right here Right there is the Reed Graveyard. Okay, you guys. Uncle Tom was walking westbound in this lane right here. This track right here. Headed toward home. When a freight train coming from that direction right there. Coming out of Bluefield headed toward Roanoke, came this way. He stepped over on the other side to the other tracks. And he actually got on the outside of the other tracks and was standing there waiting for this train to go by. A westbound passenger train that he, did, he could not hear was coming, going west. You guys, you can see that Uncle Tom was standing, looking in that direction on the head of the ties because if he'd have been standing on the other side, the train would have knocked him over under the other train that was going by. So Uncle Tom was standing right here like this, watching the other train go by. <laughs> train came around that short curve right there hit him and killed him instantly the, the <laughs> now you guys you can see just how crooked the train track is right in here Okay, guys, to put that in perspective, here we go. Uncle Tom's walking up this track. He sees a train coming. He walks over to this side of the track, the westbound traffic, and a train comes by. <laughs> Guys, right there, 
right there is exactly what got Uncle Tom killed. I did not hear that train coming until it got right up there next to that curve. That's how <clears throat> quickly a train can slip up on you and kill you on one of these tracks right here. That's exactly what happened to him. Westbound train coming, hit him. And <laughs>